Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay. And today I'm coming to you with an Easter DIY. I wanted to make an Easter nativity because at Christmas time I have the Christmas nativity that I set out, but I wanted to make an Easter one and I didn't quite know how. So I'm just going off the cuff here. I had this cardboard and I'm going to cut it in a way where it can be like rolled into like a I guess like a half circle and then um, that's what I'm gonna try to use um, for like the tomb where um, Jesus lay where he was risen from I'm gonna put clay on the outside of that I'm gonna use my air dry clay and try and cover this as best I can. Um, I'm not real uh, familiar with, you know, things that clay don't stick to and how to do it, but so this is all trial and error here, but in the end, it's gonna turn out um, nicely. So I'm just trying to put a closure on the back, so I'm gonna cut a little piece of cardboard to make the closure on the back, and then I'm going to tape it in place, but later I'm gonna hot glue it all together so it stays permanently. And I'm really excited to make this because I want this to be a piece that I use every Easter season for the rest of my life. <laughs> I want this to be something I use just like I take out my Christmas tree, I'm gonna take out my Easter nativity. And this wood plank I got from Dollar Tree a couple years ago that I just never even bothered to use, this is gonna be the base for the entire thing. I'm gonna set everything permanently on this piece of wood. So now I'm just gonna take a big hunk of this air dry clay. It's kind of stiff because I've had it for so long, but I'm gonna moisten it with a little bit of dibbles of water. And um, it really doesn't have to be smooth either because I want this to look like rock or stone, you know, or just some like dried clay that's been in a really hot climate or something like that. So uh, it doesn't have to be all smooth and everything. So now I've hot glued all these pieces together the cardboard pieces together or I'm still hot gluing them rather and then I'm just gonna fold these clay pieces on top of this cardboard as best I can Sorry, I'm out of frame here, but I'm just hot gluing that bottom piece onto the back side. So now I've just folded the air dry clay onto the cardboard and I'm just going to try to squeeze it and fit it around. When I when I think about it, I kind of think maybe it would have been better if I had used a little glue, maybe like some crazy glue or something, but I didn't. Um, I just um, put it on there and, 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 and tucked it around and pressed it in and and I know clay when it dries it kind of shrinks so I didn't know what I was going to expect in the morning but um, I'll let you know what it was like in the morning but I just felt it all around and tried to keep it tight and this is the air dry clay that I used then um, I also had to make the the stone that you know the angel rolled away so I got a little more air dry clay and then I got a little bit of water there to dab on my fingers so that I could you know move make it softer to move more easily and also cracked pieces you can kind of smooth them out when you use a little water on your fingers. I really had to be careful with the water because the water makes the cardboard wet. So um, I couldn't use too much water on my fingers, but I did use a little bit and it did help.
so right now it's sticking pretty good now this um is gonna just be the stone that's gonna cover the door that's gonna be rolled away and i'm not gonna try to shape it in no special shape or anything i just want it to be a big giant heavy duty looking rock <laughs> that only an angel could move <laughs> Now here we are the next day and I had a lot of cracks at the top that I had to actually use some hot glue around the top and do you see those little um, sharp edges that was the part from the inside that fell off and I just hot glued them on the outside to make it just look like some jagged stones or something and then um, I have these white stones that I got from Dollar Tree and I thought about gluing some of those around and around the around the door and um, around the top there so that's what I'm gonna do with those and also that little slab there I'm gonna put that inside because I figured they lay him on like I'm sure there was something like to lay on inside there you know maybe like made out of stone or dirt or something so I'm gonna put that in there also and that is the piece of wood that I'm going to set everything on and I am gonna use some antique wax because i didn't have anything to mimic dirt or whatever or i couldn't think of anything so i'm gonna just use some antique wax and just cover it completely with the wax i was gonna try and do it and wipe it off but i i'm, I'm not i'm just gonna let it be all messy and just completely covered um with the antique wax Okay, so now I'm going to take um, these rocks and I'm just going to glue them all around the entrance of the tomb. I'm just going to take some that are, I wanted to get all flat ones, but that was just too many rocks in that bag to try and go through and find flat rocks. So I just found some that fit more like a puzzle piece and I just went all the way around um, the doorway of the tomb. So now I'm going to paint everything and I got the black chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree here and I'm going to paint the entire inside with that um, black paint um, just so it can just be completely dark. I'm going to paint that in, in there on the sides, the bottom, but I'm not going to paint any of the rock. I'm going to leave that um, to paint another color, but I'm going to cover the entire inside, the bottom, the top and the sides with this black chalkboard paint that I got from Dollar Tree.
And now I'm gonna paint the outside. I have this dark gray paint. I think it's by Apple Barrel. It's called Dark Gray. And I'm just gonna paint the rock and the outside um, with the dark gray. The rock, I'm gonna cover completely with the dark gray paint. But the other, the tomb thing, I'm not gonna cover completely with it because I want some of that um, clay look to show through. And also the slab, I'm, I'm not gonna cover that completely either. I'm just gonna dab, 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 and leave some of the clay color showing through here too. So now I'm going to take some of the antique wax and I'm going to dab a little bit of that all over it to make it look like dirt also like clay and dirt and stone just all intertwined together to form this this huge stone structure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it was really stone but I don't know you know but you guys get what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> So now I'm going to glue that stone slab inside of the um inside of the tomb and I'm going to glue it right on the side and push it all the way to the back so that it stays in place. So now I thought I wanted a cross to be also part of this Easter nativity. So I got this I have this cross that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago and I'm gonna use some antique wax and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of water so it could just be like a, a staining. And I'm gonna paint it front, back, and sides with that antique wax and um, water.
So now I got it all done and I actually like how the back looks better than the front. So I'm going to use that side facing out. So now I'm going to see how everything is going to be placed. I'm going to put it kind of at an angle in the corner and then I'm going to take the antique wax and I'm going to try to stain a little pathway a little bit darker than all the rest so that it'll, I can make a little pathway leading to the opening of the tomb. And then I'll face the cross right on the side facing um, right on the side of the um, of the tomb. I think that's a good place for it. So then I'm just going to take a little hot glue and I'm going to glue down um, it onto the surface here. And I'm also just going to use hot glue to glue this cross down too. At first I was a little leery of that, but it worked out fine how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to just place some stones all around it and it's going to have some support from that. So I thought I was recording when I did this part, but I wasn't. I took some stones and I put it all along the pathway and just to give it like an entrance, just some more dimension to the whole piece. And then I'm going to take this moss and I'm just going to glue it in different little spots like grass coming out of the rocks, you know, just like out of the rocks around the cross and out of the rocks along the path. And I'm also going to place just a thin line of the grass across the doorway going into the tomb. Then I felt like it needed some greenery. So I was going to attempt to make a tree with these three random pieces, but that didn't work out very well. Um, I was going to attempt to wrap 
that um, twine around that little branch, but it didn't work um, like I wanted it to. So just bear with me while I do this and then I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do. So after that, I decided that the best way to go is to keep it simple. Just use the flowers. So I'm gonna place the flowers right in front of the cloths with a little hot glue. I found this little wooden piece of potpourri also in my stash and I just glued that there. I thought that was a nice little touch also. Also thinking about adding these wooden roses. So here we are at the end of the video and this is the final product. I did use the little wooden roses. I just hot glued them right there on the corner and I glue the stone also. The stone is glued into place so it doesn't move. And leading into the little pathway, you can see the grass there and you can see it's empty. He's gone, he's risen, he's not there. As it says in Matthew 28, six, he is not here, he has risen. And I am so thankful for that. And I also put some flowers and stones on the other side and this is my little Easter nativity. I really appreciate you guys for joining me and watching my video today. Let me know what you think. And remember to always be kind to yourself. And most of all, be kind to others.